It's spring! Amazing! I like spring fine. It is summer. I do not particularly like. <laughs> but I'm excited that it's pretty today. I am me is that it's mule day here in Columbia and you can oh, sorry you can google that <laughs> it is a real thing um, it's been going on I think since I don't know 18 something I think they said this morning on the news it, it's a big deal thousands I mean hundreds of thousands of people come to our town <sighs> during mule day um, it's always during spring break which I don't understand because we have a parade tomorrow and none of our local bands can be in it because they're on spring break so when I was in band they were like uh, it don't matter if you're on vacation you got to show up because we marching but I digress <laughs> I, you know whatever but um we got the puppy and we go tomorrow is the transport and that means that people have signed up for like an hour to hour and 10 minute legs or 15 minute legs of her journey and they're driving her along the way sorry and so um it's really cool because like she's coming all the way from like basically savannah i think is where Dee, Dee lives and um she's coming all the way from there and um we're only driving the very last leg which we were willing to drive more than that but people have signed up and we're just like so grateful and overwhelmed that strangers would like help us like get her home like it's just so precious you know so I'll definitely be filming tomorrow when we go get little Millie and show you and um so I'm totally excited and uh yeah so I'm not say hi mama Dexter say hi mama hi Say hi, Mommy. I miss you. See, Miss Amanda didn't want me to go home because she said that I played with her baby Axel the whole time. We were best friends. Then I don't want, I don't want, uh, Miss Amanda didn't want me to leave. She wanted me to go home with her and play with Axel. See, but I'm going home now. See you later. This is, over here is where you will see all the bonfires tonight, tomorrow night, people basically hanging out and getting hammered we'll see porta potties there's a little ball field here but you see all those campers and everything yeah all these freaking people yeah yeah this is it this is mule day <laughs> and this is actually not mule day this is just mule week <laughs> but here we'll just get a look at the and some of these are horses they're not even mules i'm sure i'm not even looking it's about the ears usually if they're mules or not but you'll see all these cars, and this is nothing. Tomorrow will be like 3,000 times more people just everywhere. And people will camp out here on the grounds um, tonight here um, in the park. They bring their campers, tents, I mean everything. There'll be bonfires. And then they'll go, um, I mean they're parked all over the high school. They will go to... Um, Right in the morning, pretty usually, I think it's like nine. And um, so they'll go to the parade, riding the parade. Playtime! Get it, boo! Maisie don't know where to go. Say, it's our last night. I'm taping, by the way. It's our last night before Millie comes home, and we're playing outside. Marley. Marley, who's coming tomorrow? Mara, baby, you can't wear them pants no more. <laughs> uh, because I'm being uh, taping you. No, no, big home and I can see uh, your drawers. Uh, <laughs> That's not good, baby. But what's this? Start a face, big daddy. Look at your little face. I lay on a dab. They broke all my feet, big daddy. Mommy, can you see? No. Nope. <laughs> okay. What's the matter with you? Hey. <sighs> Hey, 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 babe, it's okay. Yeah, she can't. The sunshine, she gets blinded. And there's Barley. Oh, all day puppy breath. Puppy breath. Oh, outside playtime. Outside playtime. No, no, no.
Thing. I don't like the camera. All right. We're just going to keep playing. Moo. Here, I'll film Missy but getting a frisbee. Hopefully, I won't throw it over the fence. Because I threw the first one over the fence. Throw Missy. Right Missy, one, two. Go out there. Boo out. Right there. Easy one. one. No, it's not. Two, three. Boo will catch you. Good girl. Yay. Good girl, boo boo. Boo sound a whole lot of fluffing for the muffin. <laughs> the numbers have dropped down. They said, I saw a number that should have said 200,000 people. Still? It's been, it's been an excessive form. And over there's the arena. That's where they're, that's the arena. That's where they're doing all the pulling and see all that smoke? See the haze? Just look, you can see all that hazy. That is from the campfires. That haze is all from the campfire. It's crazy. It's all Bonner River Rednecks. Bonner River Rednecks, there you go. Can't really see because it's so dark, which is kind of a bummer, but. Oh, and yeah, people, then people are gr grilling out and chilling and talking. And, but. And their generators going. Yeah, generators going. Um, Basically, anywhere they can park a horse trailer, they got it. Yeah, yeah, anywhere they can park. That's right. And they let them this time of year. Like, I mean, they have to pay to, like, go to the park, but they, like, let them. They have a check-in station and everything, too, you know? Cops like, out, they have cops out there making sure that nobody gets crazy or anything like that. Yeah, but, yeah. But I I think, for the most well, part, it's the same people year after year. Oh, yeah. Parking at the same spots and meeting yeah. and gathering and all yeah. that. I agree. Um... It's just a big deal here. Like, it brings a lot of money into the economy, obviously. And it's been going on, I think, on the news. They said 1840-something this morning, like, for a long, long time. And this is like... I mean, people come from other countries to come to this. Like, every year. Like, other countries. Like, we... Like, remember that... Remember when Bonnie Shields was here that year? And we were talking to her? And, um... She, um, like somebody came by to get a painting. Bonnie Shields is like a mule artist. She's like a famous mule artist. We have like, what, three or four of her pieces of art. I mean, like, they're amazing, like, realistic mule pictures. I've always loved them. And, um, we have, per like, signed prints, signed and number prints. And we've had her sign a couple of them when we met her. And when we were talking to her, this lady came up, and she was from, like, she had a British accent. But, you know, there's people that live here that have British accents. I mean, Keith has worked with people that have accents that live here. And as we were talking, she was like, no, we come every year from England for this. Because they, like, have this great, like love of you know the mule or whatever those people did and i mean they're just they're very beautiful animals a lot of people say that i'm crazy when i say that but if you like watch the parade and i'm highly considering going to the parade tomorrow just so y'all can see um take Maisie and going which that's a big deal for me but it would be cool to show but i mean they really are pretty aren't they i mean don't you think the mules are pretty yeah, I mean, I think that's what people come out for. It's the appreciation of it. Everything from the working mule to the show mule to all that. And well, they, they represent that at the fairgrounds, too. Mm -hmm. From the mule pools to the showing and everything. And wouldn't you agree that there are some that are just show mules? Like, they show up at the parade and they have these beautiful things and all this regalia they're wearing. And they're strictly for show. They're not pulling mules. They're not working mules. They don't work on a farm. They are to show. Yeah. But then you see wagons that do just hooked them up out the field, came on to the parade, and got on in line. Now, that's not saying they're not clean. I don't mean it like that. They're still beautiful animals. But you can tell which ones are real farmers that work versus people who just have show mules. Which, yes, that is a thing, having a show mule. It's like, I mean, it's not like walking horses, but people just have walking horses and all they do is show them. People just have mules and just show them. That's all they do with them. They just show the mules. They don't work the mules. And it's a whole different thing. And there's different classes. And they pull. And when they do the mule pull, it's kind of, if you've ever been to a tractor pull, it's kind of like that. But with mules. And they put the weights on. I know, I saw that earlier. And um, they put the weights on and, like, people on it. And, like, see how far they can pull it. And it's very interesting. We went one year to the fairgrounds and watched the pulling and everything. And I, I'm fascinated by all of it. I love the mules. I think they're awesome. 
we're trying to figure out what we're gonna eat. What are we gonna eat? What? No clue. That's not good. You know, do you want to sit down or do you want to just? I mean, sit down obviously, yeah. But I mean, do you want like sit down, sit down, or do you want just like fast sit down? Like firehouse. That's cool. I could. Firehouse. Couldn't tell they closed at nine or not, but the sun was on, so we'll turn. Oh, they do close at nine now. Crap. Because they're late tonight. Because they're so busy. Uh, if not, well, I'm I don't know if they on the weekend though. They may still be. I think it's mine. That's the other bad thing about living in a fairly small-ish town, which Columbia is not small, but it's not huge either. It's not like Nashville. Close stuff closes down. They roll. They roll the carpet up around here. I told them we take them with us take them like we just have this huge audience like we're taking everybody i said we i would show about millie going to get millie tomorrow adventures of millie adventures of millie and pori and dd so sad and we're getting a pet sense i'm excited dd told me it was expensive but she said they do price match so that's good to know Just got a shoe carnival. Firehouse is fun, or do you like like something else? All right, I'll I'll fail one. This is yummy, yummy firehouse. Whoa, that's a big curve. It is Mule Day. Ask Keith how he feels about Mule Day. I feel about Mule Day. <laughs> Mule Day is the National Redneck Holiday for Murray County. And it's also a very busy day when you have Jeff in a restaurant and you uh, have to serve people lunch. Because he said they were rolling in people. Look how pretty it is outside. And we're going to get Millie. Yay! They're about 15 minutes behind. They said it was backed up in Atlanta. Traffic was bad, which it was earlier, so kind of weird the traffic was so bad on it or not weird I guess but I'm not used to traffic being so bad somewhere on like a Saturday but I don't live in Atlanta either so but we decided to go ahead and go actually we're leaving about 30 minutes later than we thought we would originally but maybe we'll have time to eat we're hungry and I'll probably cry about 300 more times because I've already cried about 300 today but it's really cool because we keep getting email updates from the transport coordinator. I've never done one of these before, but I will definitely do one again because this is like really exciting and fun. Don't you think this is fun? I just, I don't know. I think I could might, like now being involved in this and seeing how like, I just thought they like, like gave you a time and a place and you like just met people there. Like I didn't know that there was so much involved and like so much information given out. You know what I mean, Keith? Like, did you, did you, did you think that? Do you think they had so much information for you? I'm kind of like really overwhelmed in a good way, like how coordinate, and this just may be Blind Dog Rescue, I don't know. But I would definitely do another one. Um, but seeing how hard it's been for Aunt Dee Dee, the, her foster mommy, I don't think I'll ever be able to foster because, oh, that's hard to let them go. But we're on our way, and if we see any cool Mule Day-ish stuff, I'll show you. I'll show you the line of uh, yard sales. <laughs> it's kind of funny looking. Are we not going that way? That way? I think it will. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'll show you if we see anything. They got keys worried about the rubber necks. I know, but if we want to eat, we can't like dilly dally. But anyway, I'll show you anything cool we find. Been here, people. I don't know what this place is. What is it like a little town? Would I have a mule day party too? <laughs> oh, they're hunting Easter eggs. Oh, wow, look at all those bread for pears lying in that driveway. Wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is some jobs because uh, this is Tennessee. This is Back Roads, Tennessee. Watch out for the Whoa, here she comes. She's a man eater. Oh, sorry, we're not supposed to sing, I don't think, or play music, but I don't give a crap. I almost said another word. Excited? You don't look excited. You look like you're doing work. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I dropped it. I mean, it was on my neck. I'm excited, but I've cried three more times. But I did put on this really good lotion. That's red lotion is like strawberries. <laughs> what? No, it was a tester. I think that's her. It's her, it's her. I can't see her. Oh, good lord, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> Ew. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. We're coming. We're, co <laughs> we're walking all around. <laughs> we're right here. We're in that other one, but you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> oh, go look at her. Hi, doll. Hi, pumpkin. We haven't had a little in a while. It's on. Hi, baby girl. I'm going to cry again. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Oh, my God, man. Oh, you're full of kisses. Oh, my God, man. Hello, are you, baby girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 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 Oh, we're so happy to have her. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, oh, that sun. The sun is bright. Uh -huh. Look, Danny. Oh. She sat in my lap about half the time. Did she? she, was, she was, okay, well, I don't know if you're a hugger, but I'm going to hug you. Thank, <laughs> you for, thank you for saving her oh. and for all of them. Because yeah. like Dee Dee said, if you hadn't, they'd all be dead. I know. <laughs> oh, and they all have such wonderful homes. Oh, good. Yeah. And... <laughs> Let me get a picture of you. <laughs> oh, okay. I promised. Um, if I push it, I'll take a picture too, right? Okay. What? Millie! Millie, say hi! Millie, say hi! Millie, say hi! I'm scared. I'm not scared, Mama. I'm a sweet girl. Yeah. How happy are you right now, Daddy? <laughs> We are both weepy, cryy messes. <laughs> but I'm not going to tape till he gets pet smart because we want to love on the baby. <laughs> See ya. She's already out. And tell him how she did. She's playing, 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 and then what happened? <laughs> it's because she was chewing this little thing, we think. Because she was playing with the other stuff and she just went to town on this for like a minute and then she went bam. Ow. She pacified herself to sleep. <laughs> She's utterly adorable. I mean, like, oh, you just cannot imagine the softness. How soft is she? She is so freaking soft. Like, it's like, oh my gosh. She's like newborn baby hair. Or like little kid hair. Yeah, like how soft a baby hair feels. Like their little scalp feels. You know, their little hair. Their little peach fuzz. That's what it is. Like peach fuzz hair. Ugh. He said, I don't want to wake her up to take her in pets more. I'm like, she'll be awake by then, don't worry. <laughs> the good thing about deaf dogs is that they don't wake up easily. So, like, most dogs, if you, like, barely move or, like, hit something or move or make a sound, like, they're like, what, what, what? Deaf dogs don't hear you. You have to wake them up a lot of the times. But we are going down 24, um, heading to Murfreesboro. 
gotta Google where the PetSmart is because I don't even know. And then we're gonna go back to Sea Town and probably go put Grumble Joe's and um, Granny Rhonda's and let them see her because they, Keith's dad's already called twice. I want to know about the dog. <laughs> he, he, um, he wants to see her, so we'll take her by there. And I already texted Grandma Louise a picture, so we'll film some more in Pittsburgh. And the only reason I'm filming now is because she's asleep. <laughs> Seat. Nope, gonna get up? Okay. Well, we're gonna, gonna get out at PetSmart. Oh, hi, button. Hi, button. Okay, gotta go. See, my name is Millie. And I am the cutest puppy in the world because I'm the only puppy that mommy and daddy have right now. Because the other girls are big girls. And I got a new harness. Look how pretty it is. I got a new harness, and I got a bed, and I got some toys, and I got some food, and I got some treats. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Say, I was a good girl in PetSmart. I was a good girl. Hey, you look just like me. No, you're like a bigger version of me. No, no, no. Did you bring the play toy for me, mama? <laughs> Millie and Maisie are getting adjusted. They're just now meeting each other. And I think they're going to be okay. Millie's been in for a long car ride, so she's worn out. And Maisie's been put up all day, so she's wild. But I think this is a long-term friendship that is working right now. <laughs> she wants her. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs>